two of the best metaphysical synthesis are Sri Aurobindo and the mother Mira Alfasa. Their success with uncovering truth lies in their East-West upbringings. Able to bring together spirituality with science and have dialectic on the nature of reality. This is a distillation of their wisdoms grouped by most salient categories. 1. Ouroboros The end which ever begins again. An eternal spiral that does not end in an ultimate point. It is the adventure of consciousness and joy, the childlike laughter of the infinite. 2. Joining heaven and earth Aurobindo's first secret is persistent refusal to cut life in two. Never separate your inner and outer world. The whole secret is to join the two experiences of heaven and earth into one. A new earth wherein the truth shall dwell. As if we took on artist consciousness to see the full revelation of glory in the design of the universe. 3. Man is a transitional being. Man is a finite seeming infinity. Mind is a passage, not a culmination. Evolution of human life into a life divine. The unconquerable impulse of man towards God, light, bliss, freedom, and immortality is next on the nature chain to evolve beyond mind. The ascent to the divine life is the human journey, the work of works, the acceptable sacrifice. This alone is man's real business the justification of his existence. Mind is a clumsy interlude between subconscious and superconscious of the Godhead. Childlike laughter and ecstasy of the infinite are calling. Universal being is concealed by fragmentation in an ocean of unconscious. 4. Reintegrate the God in man. The base of all spiritual knowledge is consciousness of identity. Through knowledge of the self, knowledge of the universe. In each man there is a God, and to make him manifest is the aim of divine life. The stifling of the individual is the stifling of the God in man. To abolish ignorance, go inwards, unite consciousness with God and with all existence, reintegrate the God in man, manifest God in the body, I am he, thou art that, all this is the Brahman, this self is the Brahman. Be missioned to lead man in the ignorance towards the light of the divine consciousness. I do not want millions of followers. It will be enough if I can get 100 men completely empty of petty egoism and acting as instruments of God. Self-ignorance is therefore the root of all the perversity of our existence. Egocentrism is our defense and rock of safety against the cosmic and the infinite. The atheist is God playing hide and seek with himself. The theist saw the shadow of God and clutched at it. The kingdom of God is within you, culminating in knowledge by identity. Go to the true source within the well of honey covered by the rock. 5. Yoga, the art of conscious self-finding. A union of your individuality with the universal and transcendent existence. Each human must find their own union 
their own unique self-realization from the buffet of infinite combinatorics. Have two painters ever seen the same landscape in the same way? Emphasize spiritual gnosis of the divine spark within over faith in teachings and traditions. Your work on earth is to establish a direct contact between the supreme and the individual. Blind determinisms that presently rule the world like death, suffering, and war will give way to a new luminous spiritual revolution. When we recognize that nothing is other anymore. Your only task is to discover the truth of your being. Ascending consciousness is opening the aperture. Our legacy of millions of years of animal nature drives our tensions today. Yoga unlearns habits from animal evolution. Yoga is not here to teach as much as it is to catalyze unlearning. Your consciousness resisting evolution is where the battle of the world is being fought. There exists a single knot of life where the destiny of the world takes shape. Ego is the most formidable of the knots which keeps us tied to the ignorance. Yoga is accelerated evolution, becoming the battlefield against the knot of darkness, ignorance laboring towards knowledge. A single human overcoming the difficulties of transformation butterfly effects around the world. Descent is the main characteristic of Aurobindo's yoga. Bringing down vibrations of the future to accelerate the cleansing process. The divine fulfillment of life is the descent of the new consciousness attained by the ascent. The transformation of consciousness must happen right in the heart of Davos, Hollywood, Silicon Valley, Global 500 CEOs, worldwide presidents and congresses. The seeker verifies in vivo the principle of the world's oneness. Seeing all beings and things in one interconnected vision. The realization must be constant in the waking state for it to be truly possessed. No longer an ego, but only consciousness, existence, peace, bliss, immortality, eternity, infinity. This limitation to our surface existence, this unconsciousness of our highest as our inmost self, is our first, our capital, ignorance. The spiritual life finds its most potent expression in the man who lives the ordinary life of men in the strength of the yoga. You must reach truth and enable creation to follow. You don't do yoga for yourself alone, you do it for everybody, unintentionally, automatically. 6. Step number 1. Silence the mind. Silence is our passage into eternity. Everything depends on our determination with silence. Silence, peace, immobility are the basics for transformation. Silence is one of the most powerful and convincing experiences of which the human mind is capable. Superconsciousness becomes manifest to us when the chaos of the mind is stilled. Silence enables discernment. Truth begins in cellular equanimity. Carry within you an inviolable retreat of peace. Go within to this great silence and everything changes. There is a certainty, peace, like a shipwrecked man who has found a rock. No matter the turmoil outside, we cross a threshold within. Cellular immobility, only a delightful smile, then we begin to know peace. He becomes the master of his own responses to the world's contacts, 
no longer the slave of external touches. Do not let mind set up house for itself. Let everything settle and clarify in silence. Silence is clean in itself. Take your interior successes and ground them in the exterior world. When mind is silent, words, speech, action, everything comes automatically with striking exactness and speed, a much lighter way of living. Exact knowledge needed falls like a drop of light in the silence of the consciousness. Only move when you are moved by the divine. We become so sensitive, we can read the tiniest things, the most insignificant events of daily life affecting people's evolutionary process. The guidance begins from within, exposing every movement to the light of truth, repelling what is false, obscure, opposed to the divine realization, disentangling confusions, purifying all, harmonizing the whole nature, putting everything in spiritual order. We embrace all existence, become God, feel and hear and touch the eternal, make a deeper and closer unity of self and the world in a transcendent realization, an invasion by the infinite. This new consciousness has itself the nature of infinity, eternity, and immortality, embracing all of existence, uniting the manifested with what is above it. The life falls quiet of a spiritualized consciousness. The body ceases to need and to clamor. The soul itself merges into the spiritual silence. Engaging with this silent state during all daily activities is self-realization. The task of the seeker is to keep the true vibration alive. Art tries to call down the great inexpressible vibration. When consciousness is released from the thousands of mental clouds, it becomes joy. The seeker's wall between the inner and outer loses consistency. A change in texture of being, lighter, more transparent, porous. Unification of the entire being by breaking down the wall between the inner and outer nature, individual into cosmic consciousness. The ultimate is everywhere in each being, body, atom, in the world. See a large, interconnected, comprehensive, universal play. Intuitive knowledge sees things as sides of an indivisible whole. All is fused within a single experience. Global, undivided, eternal vision. Fight the most strenuous battles in the unconscious without ever feeling tired. Eight billion difficulties to overcome entangled in the knot of life. Silence, entry into infinite emptiness, is the condition of a greater knowledge, power, and bliss, becoming filled with the wine of God, plunged into the incommunicable superconscious of the Absolute. Whence shall he have grief? How shall one be deluded who sees everywhere the oneness? 7. Adverse Forces Symmetry First signs of psychic opening, love and joy as calm and deep as the sea. Liberated consciousness lives in infinity, always. With this contagious infinite joy, we help others dispel their shadows. Our downs are in exact proportion, symmetry, to our capacity of ascent. You only ascend in proportion to the new resistance you are ready to meet. The adverse forces are sudden, violent, swooping down upon the seeker with rage. In seconds, he becomes another man, totally forgetting his purpose, goals, meaning, joy, peace. All obstacles, whatever their nature, 
always turn out later to be helpful assists of a truth whose meaning and purpose we do not yet know. Every time you have an experience indicating progress in your transformation, you are delivered difficulties, revolts, illnesses, everything starting to grate. You begin to understand how things work. Vedic rishis called subconscious shadow forces sun thieves. Evil is not outside, it is within and below. He has to conquer in himself the forces of egoistic falsehood and disorder, then conquer the same adverse and inexhaustible forces in the world. Much of the time we will not get access to work with the shadows of our closest family and friends, but we'll get to with complete strangers. What size share of human disease do you have the courage to face and take upon yourself? We find our self-finding in their self-finding and self-realization. Mirrors. Mind attains its self-fulfillment when it becomes a pure mirror of the truth of being. Civilization is a mirror of our consciousness. Perfect correlation between inner states and outer circumstances. As inside, so outside. Conscious collaborators in our own evolution accepting the challenge or letting it pass by us. Unperverted by ignorant stimulus of desire. Food can be reduced to a hygienic minimum without bloating and disease. Our humanity is the conscious meeting place between the finite and infinite. This spiritual light, power, knowledge, delight from above, descends beyond the mind and heart which are always the easiest to reach and illuminate, to occupy the whole nature of being from top to bottom, pervading more fully the life and body, shaking the foundations of the unconscious. The individual existence becomes dimly aware of the self and seeks first nervously and then ardently to master, use and enjoy the play. An ordering self-knowledge, law of guiding truth, harmonious self-vision. Without this, the world would be nothing but a confused uncertainty. The tree and all its branches are contained in the seed. This reality is consciousness returning again to itself. The play of self-concealing and self-finding is one of the most strenuous joys that conscious being can give to itself, a play of extreme attractiveness. Ignorance stumbles towards the knowledge, shedding its limitations, blossoming into truth consciousness. Every drop of honey can taste itself, all the others, and the whole honeycomb. 8. Consciousness Force Mind is an experiencing station of the great cosmic play. We are a receiving station for universal music. Consciousness is a force. Force is a self-expression of existence. All phenomenal existence resolves itself into force. India always connected chit, consciousness, to agni, tapas, heat, flame, energy, chit, agni, chit, tapas. There is one evolutionary force going through all things, consciousness force. Nature throws off her mask and reveals herself as the luminous consciousness force carrying in her the eternal existence and its universal delight of being. All existence is one being whose essential nature is one consciousness force of delight. The warmth of consciousness and evolutionary force Materialism cannot maintain its validity if there is a secret consciousness in or behind the apparently 
unconscious energy in matter. E equals mc squared. There cannot be two things, consciousness and not consciousness. One consciousness, substance, force, being in the world. There is only one body. The body is everywhere. It is all the same being. 9. Supermind Truth is the foundation of real spirituality. Courage is its soul. The truth all liberated people discover. Tat tvam asi. Thou art that. I and my father are one. The truth is the kingdom of God within. The most natural thing in the world. As we awaken, we feel the pressure of eternity and infinity. You begin to feel others as part of yourself. The world becomes our own being. Reality is one experience. Infinite consciousness looking at itself from countless points of view. Perception is no longer point by point, but calm and in great masses. One does not know unless one knows with the body. Don't confuse unity with uniformity when you gain your little drop of truth. Knowledge of the whole is necessary for right knowledge of the part. Ape mind imagining mind equals mind imagining supermind. Mind begins to open to the truth that there is something beyond itself. His evolution, however obscure and slow, towards supermanhood is inevitably predetermined. When consciousness meets the supreme reality in a contactual union, a blaze of intimate truth perception is lit. Illuminated perception is more comprehensive, global, sympathetic, all-understanding, all-embracing, cosmic, and infinite. The highest consciousness integralizes, unifies, and harmonizes the many-sided truth. Supermind is individual, cosmic, and transcendent. Simultaneity is the key to real life. Supermind is truth consciousness, wisdom, love, thinking spherically, integrally, a complete embrace of all three tenses. Nothing to the supermind is finite, no walls of limitation. It is oceanic, ethereal. Supermind power is attained only when one is completely poised on the eternal foundation. Outside time, outside space. Supermind or the truth consciousness is the real creative agency of the universal existence. Truth consciousness sees the universe and its contents as itself in a single indivisible act of knowledge. Unity consciousness completes truth by broadening man's perspective to the one truth of which all are the aspects. Unity consciousness is also light. Time and distance are reduced to nothing. They have been conquered. Supermind in matter pushes to evolve from within via spiritual yearnings, aspirations to immortality, truth, beauty, and is pressed from above like the sun breaking the skin of a seed from its own eternal plane via intuitions, revelations, and illuminations. The spiritual perfection of the being, a divinization of the mind, the heart, and the very body, a fulfillment exceeding the individual transformation, a new earth and heaven, a city of God, a divine descent upon earth, a reign of the spiritually perfect, the kingdom of God not only within us but outside in a collective human life. Truth consciousness realizes itself inevitably in time and space. 
The veil is thick, but the light in the hidden crypt of the heart's innermost sanctuary is strong. Development is aided by the mind's clear perception and insistence on an effort to know its nature. The supermental and spiritual being must be created as the first unveiled manifestation of the truth of the self and spirit in the material universe. Supermind and superman must manifest and take the lead of the creation. Omnipresence, omniscience, omnipotence of the divine being. Everywhere, all-knowing, unlimited power. Truth conscious, possessed of the seer will, a perfect and direct knowledge. We enter a vast, featureless impersonality, becoming aware of the unchanging self, the formless infinite, the nameless absolute. Supermind is a state of being which enables the absolute to flow through you and manifest in the physical universe. It is my path that men follow from all sides. 10. The Absolute One and Many Truth Beyond Universe Sleep opens a natural window into the Absolute. Absolute is both the stable and the moving. Reality is neither real nor unreal. It is a paradox, a super-rational enigma. The Absolute manifests itself as a being and a becoming. The being is the fundamental reality. The becoming is a dynamic creative energy working out of the being. Becoming can only know itself wholly when it knows itself as being. Becoming arrives at self-knowledge and immortality when it knows the supreme and absolute and possesses the nature of the infinite and eternal. Know yourself as infinite in essence, but also as the infinite self-expressed in the finite. This realization is the culmination of the becoming, the fulfillment of the being in its dynamic reality. The possibility of the divine's unfolding in the individual is the secret of the enigma. This intention of self-unfolding is the key to the world of knowledge ignorance. Man becomes the central instrument to earth, heaven, and the supreme reality. The whole play of consciousness depends on the embodied being. Religion's real business is to prepare man's mind, life, and bodily existence for the spiritual consciousness to take it up. It has to lead him to that point where the inner spiritual light begins fully to emerge. At that point, religion must learn to subordinate itself to not insist on its outer characters, but to give full scope to the inner spirit itself to develop its own truth and reality. All these variations were necessary. Evolutionary endeavor of nature has experimented on all lines in order to find her true way and her whole way towards the supreme consciousness and the integral knowledge. This is everywhere the process of nature, and to ignore it is to miss the intention of her works and get lost in the maze of her procedure. Consciousness must pass beyond finite reason to a larger spiritual sense in touch with the consciousness of the infinite. The individual need only to transcend his small separate ego existence and he can approach the absolute. The individual must arrive at divine universality and supreme infinity, live in it, possess it, to be, know, feel, and express that alone in all his being, consciousness, energy, and delight. He must arrive at a supreme, divine, infinite, eternal, permanent perfection to which all tends and aspires. 
only as the individuals become more and more conscious can the group being also become more and more conscious. The great evolutionary periods of humanity have taken place when the individual became active, mentally, vitally, or spiritually alive. Whatever perfection the collective seeks can come only by the perfection of the individuals who constitute it. The individual is indeed the key of the evolutionary movement, for it is the individual who finds himself, who becomes conscious of the reality. His own life and the world life would be to him like a perfect work of art, the creation of a cosmic and spontaneous genius. Free and perfect self-expression, no longer seeking, no longer bound to unconscious ignorance, simply raptured in the delightful play of existence. He individualizes the divine transcendence. Richness of diversity in the self-expression of oneness would be the law of the Gnostic life. Abandon all dharmas, all standards and rules of being and action, and take refuge in me alone. Indivisible, but as if divided in beings. Diversity in oneness is the law of the manifestation. The supramental unification and integration must harmonize these diversities. He who reconciles the one and the many, the eternal unity and the eternal multiplicity, reunites their soul with God and discovers the divine in the universe. A multiplicity of beings finding through the free and luminous play of their divine individuality all the manifold joy of their difference in oneness. A unifying and harmonizing knowledge is what finds the way, where oneness and integrality are native, the true way of individual and communal living. The Gnostic being will not accept to live for the ego or the state. He will be aware of something greater than these half-truths, aware of the divine reality. For that universality and transcendence he will live. The law of hunger must give place progressively to the law of love, the law of division to the law of unity, the law of death to the law of immortality. Such is the necessity, justification, culmination, and self-fulfillment of the desire that is at work in the universe. The truly ethical being does not need a system of rewards and punishments to follow the path of good and shun the path of evil. Virtue to him is its own reward. Sin brings with it its own punishment in the suffering of a fall from his own law of nature. This is the true ethical standard. In order for you to have taken up the sophisticated human life, you must have attended the evolutionary school of lower life forms, developing the soul's unique angle beneath his layers. Spiritual evolution is the value of the lessons of experience in the soul's cosmic training. Carry the lens of the many and the one. The one knowing itself as the many, and the many knowing themselves as the one. The many ever mounting up attracted to the one is the eternal culmination and blissful justification of all their play of difference. The unity is a basis for the manifestation of the multiplicity, and the multiplicity is the basis for the return to oneness. Oneness and multiplicity in perfect harmony and unison. Unity in all divisions and diversities is the mathematics of the infinite. The rule of conscious unity and differentiation. The joy of the differentiation is necessary to the fullness of the joy of the unity. Carries all divergences in itself as its own opulence. A multiplicity of views bringing out the unity of the thing seen, 
a diverse presentation of concomitant aspects of the one reality. Establish the delight of separation in the midst of an eternal unity and intermissions. Use individualization of body as the joy of the infinite in the finite. An individual dealing with other individuals but always in unity. This is what the world really is. The fundamental error of mind is conceiving its individuality as a separate fact instead of as a form of oneness. Divinely perceive individuality, each with the one and supreme dwelling in them. The self inhabiting all is the basis of our individuality in the universal. The one that inhabits all. The One manifests infinitely in endless diversity. A great diversity in liberty of self-expression based on an underlying unity, harmony, and truth of order. The delight of the spirit is ever new. The forms of beauty it takes innumerable. Its Godhead ever young. And the taste of delight of the infinite, eternal, and inexhaustible. Absolute Omnipotence working through labor, struggle, difficulty, to achieve its secret intention is a sign, proof, reality, that the greatest is possible. Unflinching drive towards enlightened civilization. Imaginations that persist in the human mind, like the idea of travel in the air, end often by self-fulfillment. Individual thought formations can actualize themselves if there is sufficient strength in the formation or in the mind that forms it, especially if they are supported in the collective mind. Creative self-knowledge and all knowledge. As in science, so in metaphysical thought, the ultimate solution integralizes all knowledge into an all-reconciling oneness. Beyond the duality and the non-duality, there is that in which both are held together and find their truth in a truth which is beyond them. What our mind sees as contraries are complementaries to infinity. Infinite is capable of a manifold action of consciousness between polarities of ignorance and knowledge. Knowledge signifies a consciousness of the truth. Ignorance is unconsciousness of the truth. Man's highest knowledge is when the veil is broken and he can see, entering into the light in which there is no ignorance. Ignorance is the absence of the divine eye of perception. The supreme experience integralizes all knowledge and experience. The ultimate consciousness sees reality as a whole indivisible whole vision in unveiled perception the individual perceives its true self to be one in being with the transcendence seated and dwelling within it the universe is a manifestation of an infinite and eternal all existence the divine being dwells in all that is the deeper eternal self throws out a surface being as the adventurer in time, speculator of infinite possibilities. Lost in the labyrinth of its own creation, we reconquer ourselves through checkered joy and pain in an aeonic passion and seeking endeavor. The evolutionary character of the integral becoming. Becoming is the only being. All things are self-deployings of the divine knowledge. All things are variable self-expression of one invariable and all-embracing delight of self-existence. To dwell in our true being is liberation. To be fully is to be universally, transcendentally, a timeless eternal being. Widen yourself indefinitely into the cosmic existence around you. Feel yourself universal, one with all existence. Integral oneness is the truth of existence. Self-conscious infinity. 
falsehood draws its being from the truth.